Hello friends, today I'm going to tell you how to download BlueStacks. So first you have to go to up to down app store. And you have to press here so that you can go to the official up to down app store. And here you see your button so click there and I'm going to choose Mac because I'm in a Mac. If you have a Windows, just choose Windows. And I'm just going to press on Mac now. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go down and see this BlueStacks app layer. And then I just click on it. And when I click on it, I'm just going to click on latest version. Then click download. it's going to start downloading them also note that this is also going to take some time so i'm just going to skip the process ahead just for you bluestacks has already been downloaded so i just have to double tap it so it's just going to verify you can just skip this verifying step and you can skip that and then it finishes here it says to double click the icon for BlueStacks to install BlueStacks basically I double clicked it and it's going to start it's going to start verifying BlueStacks now and install it and this is going to take some time verifying it by the way guys please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can get more tech tips from Lavender X. Also make sure to watch till the end of this video because it's really important. And now it says BlueStacks is an app layer downloaded from the internet. Do you want to open it? So guys what you can do now is click and press open. So right now it's going to ask for install now and then make sure you agree the software license terms. And now you can press install now and it's going to install but you need your admin password for this so I'm just going to type in my admin password and because it's also asking for safety purposes and other different purposes so that's why you should type in your admin password then after tapping in my admin password and this is that it's verifying the installer files so this could take 30 to 35 seconds or it could take less time i am going to skip this step and go ahead so that i can show you the main process and now it's going to start the engines for blue stacks and you just have to wait for some time so this is my very first boot and it's going to take up to two to three minutes depending on my max performance so it would either take less time also and here it's going to ask you for BlueStacks notifications so you can either allow it or not I'm just going to um, not allow it because it's not a necessary thing for me if you want to allow it you can allow it I'm also going to skip this step ahead so that I can show you the main steps that are ahead It is saying welcome and you can change your languages here if you want to. Right now I'm going to put it in English because I can only read English. So next tap let's go. And you just have to wait for a few seconds and it will appear. So like after waiting for a few seconds you're just going to have to tap in your email ID and your password so that you can get signed in into BlueStacks for Google Play. Right now it's just going to check for info. This will also take few seconds. So right now it's just going to ask you for your email ID and I'm just going to tap in my email ID.
and then just tap next so guys as you know next it's going to ask you for your password and I'm just going to tap in my password and I'm just going to agree so it's checking info again and here you go guys the blue stacks app layer is in front of you now if you want to download stuff in blue stacks you can just go to play store right there so guys i'm done with showing the processes in mac how to download blue stacks now i'm going to show you how to download blue stacks in windows and i'm just going to teach you in a second So guys, I'm going to just show it right now, but note that I'm not going to download from up to down Mac app store. I'm just going to the official BlueStacks website and search for BlueStacks. And the first link that will probably appear is this, BlueStacks.com. And you just have to click into that right now. And it's going to take you to the official websites for BlueStacks.com. You just have to slightly drag it down so that you can see the download button okay so then click the download button and now you're able to see this execute file which you can save it to the desktop so press save file and it automatically saves it to the desktop and this is relatively a big file i think it's 250 mb so it's going to take some time to download and I'm going to just skip ahead so that you can see what happens after it's downloaded. And finally the BlueStacks installer file has been downloaded. And now I'm just going to double click on it. As you see now it's extracting the executive file for BlueStacks. And right now you're going to see this user account message. Just click on yes. Now you can see installations of BlueStacks started and it says installing blue stacks and by clicking continue you accept terms and conditions so you just need to click continue over here and this is the location where blue stacks will be in your system if you want this is the location where you can browse it and then click next and then click install and now the installation will start it can take a few seconds and few minutes to complete the installation. New Google account and I have the existing so I'm going to click existing and here give in your email ID and your password once you give in your login and your password and um, click next you will see this kind of a screen it says sign in in and now you'll see this kind of screen you just need to click next button which is this button and then click continue and once everything is complete you can see this installation button so you can click the installation button and then uh, to be installed in BlueStacks you just have to click accept so then after downloading then you can run this app on your BlueStacks